Hey, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel devoted to backpacking, hiking, camping, and the Camino de Santiago. If you're into that stuff, you should consider subscribing to this channel because that is what we do here. All right, I'm very excited today because I am getting geared up for my first solo backpacking trip. Now, I've done backpacking with buddies, I've done solo hiking, but I've never gone on an overnight by myself. Mostly because I just haven't been backpacking that much in the last couple of years. Once I had kids, it just became more of a hassle than it was worth. But in the last year, I've gotten way back into hiking. Training for the Camino has just kind of reignited my love for being outdoors and just hiking. And I decided that I wanted to do kind of a big one this weekend. I'm going to be going to the top of Rose Peak. It's part of a series of coastal mountains in Central California. There's Mount Diablo and some other ones, but Rose Peak is at the end of one of the most strenuous trails. There's a 4,000 foot elevation gain on this hike, and it's about 10 miles in and 10 miles back out. And pretty much everything I have read about this hike calls it strenuous, hard, difficult, whatever the highest rating of difficulty is for a trail, that's usually the one that gets picked for this particular hike. Now, I have hiked most of it. I've gone all the way up to Murrieta Falls and back, but I have to say that was a pretty hard day. And this was also pretty early in my training, but now that I've sort of geared back up for backpacking, I decided that maybe I would try to go all the way to Rose Peak this time, and I realized that it would probably actually be safer for me to go solo backpacking on this trip than hiking, because I can take my time if I need to. I'm really looking forward to it, so this is the packing video. All right, so first things first, I got my list. I printed this out from Geargrams. I know all the cool kids use lighter pack, but I like the way Geargrams sorts better. So I'm gonna start going through my gear and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna bring. I will post the details in the description of this video. For this trip, I will be bringing the Atmos 50 by Osprey. I'm choosing this bag because on this trip, I am not going for ultralight like at all. I am not going for the through hike, crushing miles, 10, 12 hours of walking a day kind of backpacking trip. I'm gonna bring some luxury items to make this a comfortable trip. I'm gonna go with the good suspension and features. Osprey dry bag pack liner. I'm definitely gonna be bringing trekking poles because this trail is about 90% extreme uphill or extreme downhill. For purposes of record keeping and seeing how my gear does, I'm bringing a thermometer. I'm bringing my 3F UL gear Lanshan 2 tent. Footprint for the tent. Nemo tensor sleeping pad. Trekology pillow. Now a lot of this gear that I have is brand new. It's got all the cool low weight, all that good stuff. The one thing I have not gotten around to purchasing yet because I just haven't been able to make a final decision on what I want is a new sleeping bag or quilt, probably a quilt. So I'm gonna be bringing my old standby. This is the Moonstone mummy bag. I've had this thing for years. Uh, it has served me well through college and pretty much every backpacking trip I've been on since then. Uh, it is not light. This thing comes in at like 56 ounces or something. It's killing me on ounces, but it's what I have right now. I've been checking the weather and it seems kind of all over the map. There's like a 20 degree variance between the day that I head out and the day that I come back. Um, I don't really want to chance things at this time of year in California. Things can change quickly. Just a little bit of a breeze can drop the temperature quick, especially on the coast up on top of a peak. So I'm going to be bringing my Ozark Trail sleeping bag liner just in case I need a little extra warmth in the Moonstone. For cooking, I've got my BRS stove in this little bag. I've got a Tokes 1100 milliliter titanium pot, jet boil fuel, GSI hiker mug, Food and ingredients for the big ramen bomb, you dig it trowel. I'm gonna bring a Sunyear camp chair. I've become convinced by a hiker with the same initials as me, no names will be named, that a camp chair is a good idea for shorter backpacking trips. I'm hoping that when I get to camp, I will still have a couple hours at least of sunlight left, and I don't wanna spend that time sitting on the ground or on a rock or on a log. I want some comfort, I probably need some comfort, and so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this bad boy right here. Um, I can't afford the uh, Helinox Chair Zero. Uh, this comes in at about $100 less, and it only adds a pound to my kit, so I'm hoping this will be worth it. 
I am not going to be bringing my big DSLR camera clip tripod etc so instead I'm gonna go with this guy right here it's waterproof it's tough and it takes pretty decent pictures so we're gonna see how it does if I have time to really set it up and do good video and pictures with it to complement the camera I've got my Zenvo squid tripod this is kind of the uh, poor man's gorilla pod you know for the money it's been great uh, it does basically the same things lightweight so I'm looking forward to getting this thing out there and tying it onto some branches for hydration, I'm just going to grab a couple one liter smart water bottles, but I'm also going to bring my Sawyer Squeeze in case I need to refill on the trail. And because I'm bringing the smart water bottles, I'm bringing my Z-Pax water bottle clip. And I've got a couple flip tops for the one liter bottles because they don't come with them. Got a med kit with just kind of the standard stuff in it. Uh, Luco tape, some ibuprofen, um, body glide, lamb's wool, a couple things like that. Knee braces because I'm old and my knees hurt. Going to go with my rain poncho for wet weather just in case it rains. It's not supposed to, but this can go over my pack and over me and serve as kind of a little portable shelter if I need it. I'm bringing my Anchor 10,000 milliamp power bank. This will recharge my phone and keep the camera charged up. For lighting, I'm going to bring my lightweight rechargeable Yuko headlamp, and I'm going to bring this little clip light, which is great for inside tents or also just clipping onto the pack if you need a little extra light to see your way around. Okay, clothing-wise, I'm going to be bringing my Ultra Lone Peak RSMs, water-resistant Sunday afternoon hiking hat. Once I get stopped hiking and I'm in camp, it's probably going to start getting pretty cold, so I'm bringing my Mountain Hardware Ghost Shadow Puffy, Ex Officio Boxer Briefs, Darn Tough Hiking Socks with NGG Toe Liners. My backup slash sleeping socks are going to be these waterproof socks that are actually quite comfortable. I can even hike in these if I need to. For pants and shirt, I'm bringing my old standby, my Columbia Silver Ridge zip-off hiking pants, and this awesome button-up hiking shirt that I got from Bass Pro Shop. Bringing a buff because it's pretty much the greatest piece of gear that's ever been invented. My Marmot beanie, which I got on my hike up to the top of Yosemite Falls. And I am going to bring one pair of insulated long johns. These can be good under shorts as kind of a hiking tight, and they're also good for sleeping in if it gets extra cold. I'm also going to be rocking this survival bracelet that my little girl got me. And last but not least, I'm bringing a pair of waterproof gloves that I'm trying out for a test review. And there we have it. So I'm going to pack this stuff up and see how much it weighs. 357 ounces. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, would you mind giving it a like? And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go for it. Backcountry Pilgrim is all about hiking, backpacking, camping, and even the Camino de Santiago. The next time I see you, hopefully I will have returned from a successful backpacking trip up to the top of Rose Peak, a 4,000 foot elevation gain, 10 mile hike, and my very first solo backpacking trip. Till next time, I'll see ya.